And now to the growing tensions between Russia and Ukraine. President Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin are supposed to be talking by phone today trying to avert a crisis. There. Judy Wang is following the latest developments. She's here now with an update. Judy. Good morning. The White House is warning that Russia's military preparations are escalating. It's telling Americans in Ukraine to leave now. And if Russia does mount a major assault on Ukraine, it will not send troops there to rescue them. We're in the window uh, when a Russian invasion can start at any time if President Putin so decides. That includes in the coming days. Ukraine's government reports it is almost fully surrounded by hostile forces. The Biden administration had believed Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, would wait until after the Beijing Olympics and ended to invade. Now it thinks Putin will not wait. The U.S. picked up intelligence suggesting Wednesday could be a target date. For weeks, Russia has been increasing its military presence at the border. Satellite images show the arrival of additional forces there. The Pentagon sent 3,000 more service members to Poland for a total of 5,000 in Eastern Europe. The Chicago area is home to about 200,000 Ukrainian Americans, and many of them are saddened Ukraine is in this situation yet again. We are not strong enough we don't have as much ammunition as the russians do that's the unfortunate thing but we do have people that are determined to keep their country and to fight for it uh, i am not calling for military action by the united states but there are things we can do uh, like economic sanctions to let vladimir putin know he's going to pay a heavy price Presidents Biden and Putin are scheduled to speak later this morning. A Kremlin spokesperson says it was the U.S. that initiated the conversation. Putin is also set to speak with France's president today. Back to you.